All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Further Beyond Gaming, and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. My name is Cody GT, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about a topic that I've seen kind of circling around the Genshin Impact community, and that is in regards to outfits or skins, if they're going to be coming to the game or not at some point in the future. And I thought I would touch on this subject because I wanted to go ahead and reference MiHoYo's other game, which is Honkai Impact 3rd, one of their other games, just in case you are Genshin exclusive and this is your first time or your first introduction to um, a MiHoYo game and are not aware of Honkai Impact 3rd. I did want to go ahead and reference that game in relation to this topic of skins or outfits. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at that game here in just a second. I'm going to hop over there and just give you an idea of how MiHoYo does outfits and skins and um, let you guys know that I believe there's a 98.2% chance that we're going to be obtaining skins or outfits in this game for Genshin Impact. So I do hope you enjoy the video. If you do, drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And um, yeah, join the FBG family today. So here are the characters that we have in the game. Some of them, not all of them, of course. Um, here are some of the characters that we have in the game. And obviously you can see some outfits. And I know you've probably seen the thumbnail of the video showing... Um, I believe it's Shay Ling and I believe the MC with the MC uh, in a different outfit as well. And here's Shay Ling. So, like I mentioned, I believe there's a 98.2% chance that we're going to be obtaining outfits in this game at some point in the future. And we're going to go ahead and reference the Honkai Impact third game, MiHoYo's other one, here right now. But before we do, go ahead and roll that intro. Right, guys now we are on Honkai Impact 3rd this is MiHoYo's other game exclusively for the mobile device a game that I've been covering for roughly two years now and it's an absolutely fantastic game so if you're Genshin exclusive this is your first experience um, with the MiHoYo game then um, you should take a look at this one because this one's absolutely fantastic but I wanted to reference this game because like I mentioned it is two years already down the road and on the Chinese server even further um, into the lifespan and so of course they're going to be doing things that I think Genshin Impact will get to eventually at some point in time because it is the same developers so if I didn't mean to go there if we go to the actual announcements it's funny enough that I'm doing this video because as of right now they have an announcement that just dropped, I believe today, a returning outfit and time limited bundles for outfits in the game right now. So this is something that MiHoYo does and this is something that MiHoYo actually promotes and, and pushes our outfits or different skins for your characters. So this is why I believe there's a 98.2% chance that there will be outfits in Genshin Impact or different skins at least because this is something that they do in their current game right now and it's extremely um, profitable and beneficial for MiHoYo. They understand how good um, outfits do business wise and that's why I think they're going to go ahead and implement it in Genshin Impact eventually at some point. So if we take a look here you can see that you can actually there's a, a separate area which I believe will be in the shop for Genshin Impact at some point in time where you can go ahead and obtain different outfits for your characters using different currency as you see here. Oh I didn't mean to press that. Um, I believe no, I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> okay, never mind. Anyways, they have this uh, specific currency right here. Um, a, an outfit coupon that you can go ahead and utilize. And then they have the special outfit coupon. So just different currency. Once again, I think something that they'll implement in Genshin Impact. That you can use to go ahead and purchase those different outfits. And if you take a look at the first character right here, you can see that this character has several different outfits to be able to change into, utilize, and take advantage of. And that goes for just about every single character for Genshin Impact, or Genshin Impact, Honkai Impact 3rd. They all have multiple different outfits that you can go ahead and um, utilize on your character. So, not just one, but many different ones. And... Keep in mind, like I mentioned, this game is uh, two years, a little over two years on the global or SEA side, and um, I think about four years, if I'm not mistaken, on the Chinese server. So uh, they do have, you know, quite a bit more time on Genshin Impact, of course. But this is something that I believe is going to happen eventually at some point in time for Genshin Impact. I just think it's a, it's just a matter of time. We have to give Genshin Impact 
a little bit to you know roll out new content and then i think outfits will eventually come in the game and there's even parts with a, to where you can accessorize the outfit so for example you have one here where it has the character with the monocle and then i believe there's um one without the monocle right here so you can you know customize your characters slightly to have that even for this character with the gauntlets you can choose to have the gauntlets on the character or you can choose to have them off to where they don't have them on so let me take a look if i can do that see the hidden fist so you can actually switch it off and when the character's in the game fighting those gauntlets aren't on her and you see her you know actual fist so um there's a lot of customization a lot of cool things that you can do and like i mentioned multiple different outfits that you can utilize for your characters so this is something that i am pretty pretty confident is going to be coming and even um you know uh themed outfits for different seasons so you have like summer outfits or swimsuit outfits as you've seen earlier um that are really really cool um there's one specific to god kiana here this character um to where she has the summer outfit but she also has the winter one which is not here interesting i wonder why it's not there to actually just be seen um but there is a a winter outfit um for her as well so um, really cool. Um, there's even wedding outfits. Let me see if I can find. Um, here we go. So for this character, there is a specific wedding outfit. So it's just it's really cool. They even have one for Ice Rita here that I was able to obtain a wedding outfit. So really interesting. Miholio, as you can tell, does go really in when it comes to outfits and accessorizing your characters, and that's why I believe at some point in time, eventually in the future, they will come out with the different outfits in Genshin Impact and I think they'll even make seasonal outfits, um, special occasion outfits, wedding outfits. That will happen and I believe it will be, you know, um, there will be some that are free to play like in Honkai Impact there, there are some free to play outfits that you can obtain and there are some pay to play outfits to where if you spend a certain amount of crystals you can get the outfit or you could just outright buy the outfit or they have some events like there's one going on right now let me go ahead and show that really quickly there's one going on right now actually for that specific wedding outfit right here to where you can use the currency of the keys right here the homo's golden keys to take part in this um flip card event thing and you can uh have a chance at getting that outfit as well as other material and resources which i think is really cool i actually like this event to get an outfit and that outfit is really nice so um, it's something that I believe Mihoyo will utilize in Genshin Impact, doing different events, um, getting different ways to be able to obtain the outfits, having them in the shop. Sometimes they have them discounted as well, um, and they do you know special events for them and stuff like that. So uh, really, really cool thing, and is something that I just wanted to go ahead and talk about because I know that has kind of been circling around Genshin Impact, the community, for I think probably the inception of the game. So I just wanted to give my two thoughts on it and kind of give my little insight because, like I mentioned, before Genshin Impact, I was covering Honkai Impact 3rd extensively, which I still do on occasion for my OG subscribers um, who joined me with Honkai Impact 3rd. Uh, still cover the game when something hype uh, drops, something brand new. But I think... Um, you know this is something that will that will happen eventually so anyways guys just want to give my two cents as a honkai impact third original um creator just to let you know what mihoyo will most likely implement in genshin impact at some point i'll be very surprised if they do not implement outfits or skins just because of how popular it is on this game and how profitable it is I think they'll definitely do it. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something from it. If you did, once again, drop a like, subscribe. If you're new, join the Discord in the description down below. And uh, be on the lookout for the community tab. I may be going live later today to run some more events with you guys because that's tons of fun. But anyways, oh, didn't mean to press that. Anyways, let me go ahead and get out of here. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out. Bye, guys.